question. As Jitesh mentioned, and I'd like to emphasize, we're the only bank that has a separate business division, a business vertical for um, fintechs. So Jitesh's uh, unit runs as a business unit with targets around um, balance sheet, PNL, etc. And to some extent, he competes with the organic business. So it's good fun for me when I see Chitrabanu and Jitesh competing with each other. It's for the better for the business as a whole. So that's really what I'd like to emphasize, and you'll hear from our partners. Uh, we are, I appreciate we're running behind schedule. Uh, with apologies, Harsh, I'll try and complete as soon as I can, um, and uh, make sure we'll catch up as soon as we can. But we've got to cover deposits, fee income, and distribution. You've heard manifestations of these in various forms, so I'll get uh, Anand to Anand, you here uh, to start with deposits first. Um, in the interest of time, if you can just highlight the key points, and um, you know we can take offline conversations thereafter. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Shanli. Uh, some of the key highlights of uh, deposit numbers was already covered in the uh, slides which was presented by the seniors. See, uh, while I talk about deposits, one key message which I want to sound and convey to the team is that uh, deposit, retail deposit specifically, is one of the strong hold area for the bank. Um, there are a couple of reasons which I would uh, now, um, like to validate this statement specifically. Uh, the period that we have seen over, like 19 to 22, it was the most challenging phase, I would like to you know, um, um, say, because of this specific period, uh, we have seen that the credit growth was going phenomenally on a good note, but at the same time, the deposit growth was actually now trying to match up with the credit growth so that we can actually contribute meaningfully towards the, by funding the advances as well. Over this period, uh, I would say that you know, we were able to gain a larger share in the market at the same time, the major element that we ensured is about the granularity of deposits. The retail granularity of the deposit was the major element that we ensured kept through all the growth phase. Uh, two data points which are highlighted in the screen will clearly give out the message. Uh, from 19 to 23 December, uh, 22 December, you can see the growth trend of our entire retail book is actually shaping up. Uh, even during the growth phase, the key element, which I was referring earlier, the granularity element, we retained uh, to stick the retail granularity at the same 88 percentage over the period. Uh, second element, which again adds a lot of sense to the, is about the cost of deposit part. Uh, cost of deposit also, over the period we have seen how consistently we were able to manage. How this was made possible, it's mainly because of the pricing strategy and other key um, you know, um, uh, decisions which specifically we took from our end, matching and competing the peers. Um, on the cost of deposit side, one uh, highlight which I would like to add on here is that um, when you compare the YOA growth of uh, December uh, 21 to 22, the deposit growth that we were achieved in terms of YOA growth percentage is about 15 percentage. At the same time, uh, the impact on cost of deposit over the period from nine month um, specifically because that is this period we have seen the larger impact on or change in the repo rate has you know, impacted the market. Even during that particular time frame, the net impact or incremental cost addition which happened to the uh, cost of deposit was about 29 basis point only. So this is one of the area where we ensure how smartly, how sensibly we can actually play around competing and benchmarking against the peers so that eventually we can meaningfully contribute towards the name. A uh, couple of enablers, which was again uh, briefed in partially in the initial part of the slides, in few slides. See, a couple of enablers, we believe, uh, you know, will help us to this journey, to reach to this journey, and also will uh, augment our growth much more faster compared to peers is mainly the first one about the distribution part. We have a fantastic, well-established branch network. At the same time, we are exploring many other uh, distribution channels by partnerships and through BCs, which is again helping the growth rate, specifically on the deposits on a faster note. Second one, uh, ensuring there is no product gap is there in the system through the offering bespoke solutions, spe specifically even for the niche segments who are there in the uh, segment. Um, uh, way back in 2019, we launched our flagship scheme, Celesta, Imperio. After that, for every specific customer segment, niche segment, we ensured we are launching a product variant which meets their product requirement and also we are gaining the valid share of those customers as well. Uh, coming towards the next element which helps us is about the strong element that we have, digitization, that consistent focus that we have on the digitization part. Of course, all through today's discussion, you will hear a lot about that element as well. 
next one is about the cross selling element that we have because we believe uh, it is not just about opening a relationship but how you how better you penetrate and engage with the customer is the key aspect which will help us to gain more more valid share from the customer so through our partners through our uh, cross selling model and with the help of analytics team uh, we are actually building a propensity model for each product upsell cross sell and many other elements as well which is again augmenting for us to help a larger to win a larger value share of the customers as well last and the most important element which is about the human relationship part uh, again uh, how the i was actually you know, referring a point of like another you know, cost of deposit we are pricing it sensibly to compete the peers this is one element the relationship part is one of the key element we leverage specifically to gain the larger value share through our efforts of our relationship managers and many other distribution models that we have we ensure to win a larger share leveraging on the relationship element as well so this is a summary or maybe these are some of the key enablers which help us to reach to this spot uh, now i will just touch upon two more elements so i will just touch upon two more elements uh, which are part of the um, uh, slides shali was referring about this particular element in her uh, intro part how debit card uh, is actually helping us to gain a larger uh, because we you know we have recently done a study uh, before moving into that i will just touch upon two key data points which is there in the deck the first one because this one clearly gives out the message to the team saying that uh, how against competitors we are actually able to position ourselves on the credit debit card piece proposition specifically which is helping us to gain larger visibility in the market and to win a larger market share uh, when you talk about the the first data point clearly gives out a message the debit card spends via way growth though when you look into the top five private bank uh, um, growth rate versus the public sector bank growth rate and of the industry as well we are the only bank who has actually survived the uh, trend and we have actually you know rather than all the other three players actually gone for a negative trend but whereas we have gained a positive note on this particular aspect also we have taken one more data point which will give sort of clear message like you know how the debit uh, card spend specifically on the post and ecom is actually gaining us larger significance over the period from december 19 to 22 you can see the growth trend so with this now i can see uh, we are the fifth largest private sector bank specifically on the debit card spends and having a total share of spend about 4.9 percentage in the industry so we see debit card as you know benefiting the deposit book in two ways specifically to build the stickiness the customer relationship stickiness with us and again recently our team has done a study where it has come out stating that customers who are actively using debit cards the amb of those set of customers are actually 2.2 times versus the other set of base so this again validates the logic that we are actually following through it is actually benefiting us the debit card users we could see even after spending the amb balance retention is actually much more higher than compared to the other set of base uh, towards last there are two uh, now uh, uh, campaign uh, you know, snapshots which we have uh, placed this is not this is again actually how we so we we are positioned debit card in such a way that it it actually not only help us to deepen the client relationship with the etb base as well but again it is actually helping us to gain a larger ntb base so even all through the customer journey we are positioning debit card as one of the major tool part of the customer life cycle management as such now uh, nr the major uh, uh, franchise that we have the most prestigious franchise of the bank um, i will just quote some of the uh, uh, num um, numbers which will definitely uh, brings or emphasize on what strong, how strong we are actually on this segment our total market share is about 6.92 percentage in terms of nr we are the fourth largest bank in the country in terms of total nr book size um, over the period i have just taken some uh, highlights of like now against industry growth how we have actually outperformed outperformed the industry as such consistently over the period right from 2019 to 22 you can see every year we were able to deliver 2x of what industry growth is actually performing so this is one of the strong area where we are having a commanding position in terms of like you know, the business uh, nr contributes almost 40 percentage towards the bank's liability book and when you within this 40 when you peel out the data 80 percentage of the book is coming from our home of kerala and in kerala specifically when you look into the numbers we are having a 30 percentage more so more than almost close to one third of the market share in kerala is been managed by so these three are some of the key elements which is uh, which i would like to highlight here at the same time the major factor which help us to get this done is because of the stronger remittance engine that we have 
near about one fifth of the personal remittance that is coming to India, near about one fifth of total personal remittance that is coming to India is being managed and coming through federal. So this is one of the dominant area that we have. We will continue to be dominant. But of course, I will again acknowledge some of the aspect that this particular industry is witnessing some of the changing uh, you know, industry scenarios specifically. But we are actually prepared enough to make sure we are actually coping up to the changes and we are actually setting our you know, growth rate to continue to make sure it is happening on a 2x level as such. I will just quote a couple of the examples. Again, the first one is on the distribution part. Um, to name specifically, you know, recently we are the, we, in fact, I would say we are the pioneers in the industry to associate with an overseas bank to start an engagement specifically for customers through, the, through their fintech app. So, uh, through Marshak uh, Neo, we have recently started our engagement for our overseas customers. So, through any customers of uh, Marshak Neo can actually access their bank account relationship or maybe open a new NTV relationship through this app. So, exploring a different route for expanding the distribution pathway. Secondly, on the digital and many other elements also, we are actually going quite strong. In fact, uh, the recently added uh, investment platform also, which again makes the customers specifically for NRIs, making uh, Federal as the perfect destination for all their investment parking. Couple of other aspects and of, of course the major element again here, uh, we are sticking on to the logic, the remain uh, human at the core and the, the strong relationship management with the customers on the, with the specifically on the customers as, as well as with the remittance partnerships that we have across the globe. Now, uh, this is my last slide, so I will just um, uh, touch upon the other element or maybe other side where we are actually cautiously watching ourselves and how we are actually benchmarking you know, ourselves to compete peers. HNI and priority banking segment is one of the key area where we are actually working a lot to make sure we are winning a larger segment share from the top premium customers that we have. So this is actually augmenting us to not only deepen the ETB relationship, but also it is helping us to gain a larger NTB wallet share from the through the referrals and other model. Two data points which I have shown here. The first one gives out the clear message how we are actually strongly building the HNI deposit book, specifically within the ETB or maybe the TRV relationship that we have from this set of customers. Over the period, right from 50 to 62, 62 percentage, it has grown. Second element, specifically on the customer onboarding part. So uh, we have launched two specific schemes, Celeste and Imperio, way back in 2018 and 19, 2019 period. This particular segment we are trying to position and to make as a face of the bank in front of all the priority segment customers that we have. Couple of other initiatives or maybe the proposition benefits that we are middling, we make sure we are actually actually competing the benef uh, uh, competitors in a much better way and positioning in such a way that we are actually gaining a larger valid benefit from this set of customers. So this is one on, this is again one of the elements which is helping the growth trajectory of deposit for the bank. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anand. Um, sorry, I had to keep cutting you down, but we're really running short of time, so I have to be conscious of that. Um, Kanan is going to cover f a fee income very, very quickly. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Shalini, and good morning, all. <clears throat> so today I will be sharing with you some of the exciting news about the growth and uh, future plans of the bank with respect to the fee income business, which involves bank assurance, uh, wealth management, and other para-banking business of the bank. So <clears throat> over the past five years, we have demonstrated a consistent growth in the fee income business. And uh, we believe that we have achieved this growth with the five key uh, strategies that we have uh, taken this regard. One, of course, is the partnership that the bank is having. The bank is having around seven bank assurance tie-ups and uh, uh, one um, wealth management tie-up and uh, seven um, trading arrangements with the Fedi Trade Partners. So this, the partnership with these partners enables us to reach out to our customer base. So uh, seeing about the customer base, we have got a diverse and untapped customer base the bank is having. And Shalini has earlier mentioned about the technology and the analytics that the bank is using for penetrating deep into the customer base. So using responses, CRM solutions, we are actually reaching out to the customer based on the customer requirements. Then the final point is with respect to the channel, the, the channels that the bank is reaching out to the customers with respect to tele, digital, and other aspects. So we mentioned about the data analytics thing. So we are identifying the customer requirements based on the preferences of the customer, like what they require, what are the life stage requirements, what are the financial requirements that they're having. 
And we believe that using this, uh, this engagement model, we'll be deepening our RISTA with the customer, and which will enable us to earn a sustainable fee and growth over the years. So having said that, we are having an yearly penetration of around 6% to the customer base. So this, in fact, is giving us a lot of opportunity to reach out to this customer base. And in fact, we are doing it also. And we have done significant investment in our tech, tech platform <coughs> and employee uh, training distribution model to reach out to the customer base. So going to the, and one thing, just if you can just go to the previous slides. The one thing which I need to specifically mention is the share of fee income to our other income ratio. So over a period, you can see that it has grown consistently, and now it is at 6.21 percentage. So going forward to the bank insurance business. So I'm not going deeply into the next slide, please. Not going deeply into that thing, but I will specifically mention one thing: the co-creation of products that we are doing with our bank insurance partners. So as I said earlier, we have got a diverse customer base and we are co-creating products which are specifically suitable for the customer's requirements. We have done that across the microfinance, the liability onboarding stage, the education loan, credit card, personal loan, all these segments we have penetrated in the customer base. Along with that, we have got a strong uh, distribution model led by the branch, RM, digital, uh, and also we have got a strong insure tech and investment tech platform that the bank is having. Going forward to the wealth management business. So wealth management is a new line of business that we have started. Uh, we started in 2019. But one good thing about this business is that every year we are growing around 2x growth. We are displaying around 2x growth in the wealth management business. So we believe the... <coughs> people, the customer, our employees, the product, and this platform are helping us to get this 2x growth every year. One key element which I need to highlight about our wealth management business is the product architecture that we are having. We are the pioneers in offering fractional investment schemes to the customers, which, enab which enables the best products in the globe, across the globe, to be fractionalized so that we can have a better retail participation, which enables world-class product across the globe to be available for our customers. And we have got a partnership with Ecuris Wealth, and we are progressing towards the 3.0 version of wealth management, which will be a digital mode, which includes both branch, RMs, and the digital mode of customer onboarding. And you can see the growth of AEM over the year, the client base increasing, and the fee income over the years. To conclude, uh, the bank's vision of fee income is to have a, uh, <clears throat> is to develop an engagement model for the customer through the RISTA that we are having with them, which will be catering to all their financial requirements. And it's, it helps us to increase the penetration of the product and to create a sustainable fee income model for the bank. So, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Kanan, for that. Uh, uh, Nanda Kumar, uh, NKV, distribution, as soon as you can. Yeah. Good morning, all. Thanks, Shailini. In fact, Venkata and Shailini had already covered the important aspects of distribution. We basically follow the multi-pronged approach in case of distribution, in, in which we have branch expansion, of course, selective geography, and in geographies, select locations, plus the RM capacity buildup, which we have done during the previous years on all verticals, starting from retail, corporate, uh, commercial banking, all aspects. Then, of course, we have the FinDAC partnership, which Jidesh had already covered, and the BC model expansion, I'm sure my friend Mohan and Anish would be covering there, and also the alternate channels, and the other one, we call it lovingly call it BAP or BUS as a platform in which branch or bank is coming to your doorstep. We have already started in Madurai as well as Lucknow. This one and digital banking unit or DBU are two things which we will be taking it forward in the coming periods also. And uh, like Venkat and Shalini had mentioned, we had already opened 58 branches. So tomorrow by this time it will be 60 because we are opening two branches tomorrow morning in Rajkot. So we have decided to 
in connection with Asadika Amar Mahotsav. This year we will open 75 branches. And uh, if we take the numbers, it's almost 45 to 50 percent in the branches is in Tamil Nadu, plus roughly 10 percent each in Andhra, Telangana, and Karnataka. And Tamil Nadu, we have moved from presence to prominence to dominance level. The journey goes. Yes, the branches as well as other initiatives like the support to startups and those who have gone to Madipakam side, I'm sure you might have seen even our Miyawaki plantation there where most of the senior citizens in that area used to spend their evenings there. So you will find federal there also. Then a few points on the branch side or the which are the basic Rishta units, I would say, two, three aspects, because yes, the good story is that all the branches which we have opened have break, the break even has been in record time and they have started becoming profit centers of the bank, which help in sourcing the gold loans, BUB loans, and of course CVC, as well as sourcing CASA for the bank. So that way we are moving ahead and uh, we don't have any loss making units in all these branches we have opened. In cities where we have our presence, we are starting new branches and also same time we are moving to new geographies so that the Rishta starts at various parts of the country. And uh, the other points which we have already covered, the other units uh, uh, like uh, the BC led expansion as well as the FINDAC partnership we have already covered. Uh, yeah. The sixth one is the alternate channel which covers the tele sales and other stuff. So these are the things which we have already covered. So we will continue to maintain that branches will continue as the Rishta points of the bank, which will be the centers of energy, excitement, or engagement, or even extended family for our customers. The Rishta continues. Thank you. Uh, that really concludes this part of uh, retail banking. I think we did rush through a few of I a few items in the interest of time. But just to bring it all together, over the last hour or so, what the team and I did was to cover what have we done in the last three years since we met here and what's our journey going forward. The pivot to high margin um, products, the increased importance of fee income and its contribution to the PNL, how digital at the fore, human at the core is not just a mantra, but something that is embedded in everything we do. The Rishta ad superimposes itself on that philosophy. So that's where I think distribution will continue to be the key, but it will not be a single pronged approach. It will be a multi pronged approach. So that's really what we've tried to cover over the last hour or so. Um, thank you very much, um, uh, NKV Anand and uh, Kanan.